good morning. So, I have been suspicious that there is a little butter thief in this house and I haven't been able to catch him but he left a very crucial clue and a piece of evidence for me to catch him with. Do you want to see? He left the butter out which means that he has been either getting up early or in the middle of the night to come and eat toast. I am on to you, Ryan Briggs. I know what you're up to. Mm. In other news uh, this morning, it is actually the morning for once on a weekend and we actually got up before noon. But we're going to go for breakfast with our friend Jess, um, who we know from the cafe. So I've booked us a table and we're gonna go and have a nice breakfast. And then what's happening today? We have some bits and bobs to do, some errands to run, and then I'm gonna probably just chill a bit, maybe go for another coffee or something. And then I'm going to go and pick Bradley up and Bradley's going to come over here and we're going to pre-drink here and then we're going to go meet our friend Jay in Durham later because she's going out with other people. So we're going to go out tonight as we were supposed to be last week but we didn't get a chance to. We ended up just going to the weather spoon like what I'd said. But we're actually going to have a night out tonight. There's a new cocktail bar called Coho opened in Durham so we're going to try that out. See what that's like. And now I'm ready. Oh, I... Funnily enough right, do me hair look okay like this? Yeah. Different. different. Yeah, I think that's the thing that I have to get used to. It looks a bit different. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Britney Spears is going on tour in the UK. Yeah. My friend Adrienne texted me. She was like, why aren't we sorting this out right now? And then my friend Bradley was like, why aren't we getting this, these right now? But I found out, right, because who can afford the price of tickets? I mean, we're going to see Shania Twain, right? £80 ticket. That's a It's a flat. We found out that she's headlining the Saturday of Brighton Pride. The tickets are sold out at the minute, but they're going to release the second batch of tickets on the 1st of February. And we're going to get try and get tickets at that anyway. Because, well, the tickets are cheaper and also we get to go to Pride and see Britney. So it's a win-win, to be honest. That's very, very exciting. Because we love her so much when we were doing some bits and bobs. Last night some work we put a Britney playlist on because, well, can't be a bit of old school Britney. Anyway, we better head off because we're going for breakfast. We have to be there for 11. And it's about... No, well, it's about 22 now, so we need to go. Hello! So, we need to explain. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I know you were just about to talk. So, we need to explain about. We're going for. Oh. Better. So, we want to explain. So, we're going for breakfast with a, a girl called Jess. Yeah. And we met her at the cafe, and she's just a customer that came in. And then. We recognised her, and we've like had a, a good chat with her, like from a member of staff to a customer level. Yes. And we've seen her in a shop before, and said, oh, hello! We found out after a conversation that we had that she has a blog. Yeah. Um, and then we were chatting a bit more. More friendly and more than just a customer um, yeah. um, employee relationship kind of yeah. thing. So anyway, just then last week when Ryan wasn't there, I was explaining that Ryan got a new job and we were just having a chat and she was like, why don't we go and get a coffee? I was like, that's a great idea. Let's go and do that. But at the same time, I was like, okay, it's a bit random because we're not really like, we're acquaintances, but we aren't particularly like friend friends. So to go and get a coffee is a bit... It's That's not unusual. a very British yeah, thing to do unusual to me. get a coffee with someone who you so, know. Yeah, so, and not a stranger yeah. because like we recognise her and we say hello in the streets and like she gets more than just the average uh, treatment. Of treatment. Yeah, yeah but at the cafe. like what we say, it's it's just a bit unusual. So, but it's really she lovely. is Australian. Oh yeah, because that makes a difference. Yeah, so if you are from Australia, let us know if that is kind of like yeah, like uh, uh, Australians just more friendly and the British are just like. I wouldn't imagine ever getting a coffee with someone that I don't really know. But what I do want to say is, right, after, because clearly Aiden's just been, if you haven't realised, he's been talking for the past four minutes of the vlog, well, and I haven't no had a chance to, to say it. To. No one wants to talk to me? No. So, what I was going to say was, is the fact that wouldn't it be such a nice and lovely place if everyone was like that? Yes, the world yeah. would be a better place if everyone Wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, if everyone's just like, well, do you want to go for a coffee and, and a quick chat? Yeah. Like, like, how many times do you see friends, like, or, like, friends that you used to have years ago and you bumped into each other on the street and you say, oh, we must catch up for a coffee? And, you and it never happens. No, you're totally right. It's but like instead, false, in this, our situation, false... someone that we, like, barely know that we're going to get to know even yeah. better now. No, it is nice. It's yeah. like making new friends even when we're older. So yeah. It is very nice. Uh, but we need to get going yeah. because we've got like 10 minutes to get there. But We've we got are, 15 minutes to get there. Aim's panicking. I don't like 15. to be late, but we, yet we always are. We're not going to be late. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go now. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I hate you too.
All right. Party duty. So we are back. It was really nice to like actually meet um, the girl that we were meeting. It was called Jess. <laughs> Fuck her off. Um, so it was really nice to like get to know someone like. Yes, here's our breakfast. Yeah. You saw that. Yeah, you've already seen it. What are you on about? Anyways, after when we had breakfast with Jess, we then went to the post office to send some stuff off. And we sent some stuff off to quite a few of our parents, and we also sent some uh, stuff to our relatives. Mm -hmm. And the bill came to £53.88. And and pence. Pence, right, in postage. Now, we, weren't, po yeah, we weren't posting like a brick. As in, like, that's how heavy it was. It was just lots of cards. You can get cheap and flights. Yeah, so actually, you no, you can. Just me voice is completely crap. Yeah. <laughs> you can get, you cheap get cheaper flights. flights. Perhaps not to America, but. No. There's and a lot of stuff going to America, but still, £53 and 8 pence, I almost died. We were there for ages. Yeah, we were. There's massive key afterwards. Because we're sending off about 30 things. Oopsie, never so, mind. Anyways, we then uh, posted stuff, we, and then we left the we, post office. Uh -huh, and um, there was a little, because on a Saturday in Durham, there's a little, we should have really vlogged it, but we yeah. didn't. There's a little fair that goes on, and there's some different food stalls, and some craft stalls. The fair is the wrong word, market. Market. Yeah. Yeah, fair, not fair. And so there was a photographer there, and he had loads of framed things. Let's see if you can get that. Is that good? So these photos are of Durham. Oh, it might not be. It might be a bit overexposed because there's a plastic. But that's what they look like. So that, sorry that it's uh, like covered in plastic. So that's, yeah, uh, that's a, a picture of, of Durham. Then there's this one, which is Durham as well. So that one's really nice, isn't it? That's the, the cathedral. So there's the cathedral, and this there's is the, the bridge. bridge and and obviously, bridge, the, there's the and water. Some gorgeous water. So that's and really nice. And one. these are greeting cards, by the way. But they're like three for five, so we thought, focus child. Three for five, so we thought, well, we'll get three. We were actually going to get a print, which was um, like. What's it called? Mounted, and you can frame like a it. a big picture. But we haven't really got anywhere to put it yet, but we'll find somewhere, and we might get one. We know the uh, photographer. There was also this one, right? Now, if you can see in this picture here, right, this is the cathedral, okay? Sorry, and it's a bit overexposed. And these here, I mean, it's it's a bit dark, the picture, so you can't really see, but these um, here are the cafe gates. Isn't that amazing? So this is the... This is how close... What's that called? This is called Own Gate, yeah, the street. The street. But obviously you can cathedral. see that and this is... here is the gates of the cafe, and there's the cathedral. That's yeah. how close so we, thought that was we really are cute. to the cathedral when we look at the cafe. So we'll either give those to people or we'll just frame them. Yeah. And um, put them somewhere. But anyway, yes. now, um, RuPaul's Drag Race, we need to talk about that. Yes. Because it's on... If you don't example. watch it, then you need to watch it. Why aren't you? Obviously in America, a lot of you can watch it legally. In, in the UK, for years... We had um, to watch it. We had to no, no, we didn't. We oh, didn't. No, no, we didn't. No. Allegedly. But, but apparently, other people in the UK had Allegedly. to watch it illegal. And obviously we don't condone that. No, we don't. Ever. Not at all. We never did it. Not because we are not criminals. <laughs> but um, things have changed. Last year, um, season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race was streamed on Netflix, and then um, and it's currently now All Stars three, and that yeah. is being streamed. On, well, it's not being streamed. It's on Comedy Central. Yeah. But it's two days later. Never mind. Anyways, we're gonna watch that. Have a cup of tea. And we're gonna tidy up the house. Yes. And um, then I already said this earlier. Yeah. I'm gonna go and pick up Bradley. <sighs> That's Bradley. I don't know why I made that noise because that was stretching. And then we're gonna go out. Yes, for a, a couple of drinks. And then we get dressed up nice. fancy. Because after spending £53 on postage... We're going to spend more money on alcohol! Because we want to... Get um, and forget our... No, forget that we did that. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. Right, time to relax before we tidy up the house. Toodles! Nice. Toodles! <laughs> oh, that never cuts. It would look cool, but in fact, it just looked weird. <laughs> Okay, so we are now all tidy. The whole house is nice and clean, and we are ready. Well, not we are ready. I'm ready to have a drink. That's still a lie. I'm having a drink. Aiden's currently out getting Bradley, a friend of ours that you should have seen on many of our vlogs. Also, I don't only have those candles lit. I'll show you the rest. We've got one there. We've got one there by the team that's about to run out, and you can see there's one ready to go in such position there. We have a cinnamon one in there that is kindly being given, that one there, from the Lodge guys. Check out the Lodge guys, information flashing above the screen, got some lit there. And I've got one there as well. And then, I think that's, oh, I am still zoomed in far too much. Let me just zoom out. Be with you shortly. There we go, much better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have another drink, as if I'm honest with you, 
that's me third. We're ready to go out in about two and a bit hours time. I'm gonna do some emails because I'm far, 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 far behind on emails. I feel awful for it, but work, my new job has uh, taken a bit of priority and that's understandable, I hope. But yeah, that's just about it really. It's been a busy day. I don't normally get up early and today I had to get up early because Ian decided that he'd make arrangements to meet someone new. So it's been nice, it's been a nice day. If I'm rambling on, it's because I've had three drinks. Have I three? That's me third. I've had two. I think. So, Bradley, my good friend, who's over there on his phone, probably on Grinder, <laughs> on Tinder, uh, bought us a bottle of champagne. How lovely is that? So, we're gonna crack it open before we get ready to party, or well, there's not really much of a party atmosphere going on in here yet. Because you've just arrived, yeah, know, yeah. and I've had, that's my third vodka and coke. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Eat bloody hell. That'll be yours. <laughs> Hello! So, we've been drinking champagne, but now I'm gonna make an Aperol Spritz. Now, I've made these before. They are the best. It's an Italian, I can't even say this word, aperitif called Aperol, and you have it with Prosecco and soda water. So, first you're gonna need some ice. A little bit more ice. Sorry. I should be prepared. Some ice like that. Then, we've gotta get, this is what it's called, Aperol. It's so, so good. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. So I got right to hold the camera because I couldn't unscrew it with one hand. So, Aperol, it's one part Aperol. About that, it's probably too much, but whatever. Then, Prosecco, like two parts of Prosecco, I think. I could be completely just lying right now. And then, just some soda, and it gives it this great orange color because it's quite orangey but bitter. It's actually, it's, it's so, so good. Massive in Italy. And um, then you're supposed to put some orange in, but I don't have any, so. Is it nice? It's fantastic. <laughs> so, Aidan's obviously just showed you how to make an Aperol Spritz. Anyways, I want to show you something we got for Christmas. Catherine, our friend, she got us these for Christmas. These massive wine glasses, but I think they're absolutely lovely. We don't really have like colourful stuff in the house, but these will suffice that need for something colourful in the house. So, I think I might have an Aperol Spritz in this yellow one. And there we go, got it out of the box. Put some ice in. Now, I don't really like soda water that much, so I might just put a bit more Prosecco in than I should. Yeah. Alexa. Wait, I'll just call the mine. Stop. Okay, so we are about to go out. Let me just move the camera because it's set very low. All right, Bradley. there we go. That, that's Bradley. I'm just in the background drink. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, Bradley's life, basically. Yeah, um, okay, so we're going drink. to go out. Um, we've had quite a few drinks. Yes, um, but um, we're still we're gonna have a nice night. Yes, we're gonna book a taxi to get there and book a taxi to get back. Because if anyone watches our channel, which obviously we reach about a thousand people per video, never, ever, ever, ever drink and drive. It is never, ever worth it. I don't know where, like, <laughs> this is going. Where is it going? I don't know. Where it is going is the fact that you should give this video a... Thumbs up. You should also... <laughs> yes, you should. You should also, if you knew this channel, you haven't already. <laughs> not, give give us... a, not give us a just like. <laughs> give us a thumbs up and also subscribe. Unsubscribe. Subscribe, don't unsubscribe. Um, and if you haven't already, then press that bell button for the next video. And you'll get our notifications. Yes. But please, from us to you. Why do you keep saying that? Like you're... I love that, it's like TV. But from us to you. Join for the next episode of- Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. You're welcome. Yes, honey. Check Alexa. out Bradley's blog information here. There Someone is. needs to check it out. Alexa, play. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> <laughs>